Hello and welcome back everyone. So today in this lecture, I will be discussing the V1, which is the ophthalmic nerve, a branch of the trigeminal nerve. So the ophthalmic nerve is a pure sensory nerve. It basically provides sensory innervation to the skin and the mucous membranes of the upper third of the face, which I will be discussing in detail. So this is the part two on the trigeminal nerve series. Part one was on the origin and the divisions of the trigeminal nerve, while this part is on the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. So let's start. So soon after emerging from the trigeminal ganglion, the ophthalmic nerve along with the maxillary nerve goes to the cavernous sinus. So while still inside the cavernous sinus, just before escaping the cranium, the ophthalmic nerve subdivides into three branches. These branches are the nasociliary branch, the lacrimal branch, and the frontal branch. So soon after the division, all of these three branches almost immediately escape the cranium through the superior orbital fissure. And now after escaping the cranium, they have entered the orbit. So now let's discuss these three branches of the ophthalmic nerve. So soon after escaping the cranium, the lacrimal branch provides sensory innervation to the lacrimal gland of the eye and also to the lateral upper eyelid and its conjunctiva. Along with this, the lacrimal nerve also communicates with the zygomatic nerve via a communicating branch. And from this communicating branch, the lacrimal nerve receives postganglionic parasympathetic fibers, which it then carries to the lacrimal gland to provide the lacrimal gland with its parasympathetic innervation. Now let's discuss the second branch of the ophthalmic nerve, which is the frontal nerve. So this nerve is regarded as a continuation of the ophthalmic nerve because of its size and its length. So after escaping the cranium from the superior orbital fissure, the frontal nerve subdivides into two branches, which are the supraorbital nerve and the supratrochlear nerve. They provide innervation to the skin of the forehead, mucosa of the frontal sinus, and also to the skin of the upper eyelid. So these were the two branches of the frontal nerve and the innervation that they provide. So the third and the final branch of the ophthalmic nerve is the nasociliary branch. So the nasociliary nerve after escaping the cranium and entering the orbit travels forward and first gives off a communicating branch to the ciliary ganglion. So after giving off the communicating branch, the nasociliary nerve travels forward and gives off the long ciliary nerve or the long ciliary branch, the posterior and anterior ethmoidal nerves and finally terminates outside the orbit as infratrochlear nerve. So all of these nerves and branches basically supply sensory innervation to the structures of the eye and also structures around the orbit. But the anterior ethmoidal nerve continues forward and enters the anterior ethmoidal foramen. So at the level of cribriform plate, the anterior ethmoidal nerve gives off a meningeal branch. And after giving off this branch, it enters the nasal cavity via the nasal slit and supplies the mucous membranes of the nasal cavity. And finally, after supplying the mucous membranes of the nasal cavity, it terminates as an external nasal branch which innervates the skin on the lateral sides and the tip of the nose. So these were the three branches of the ophthalmic nerve and the further branches that they give off. So just to summarize all of this, the ophthalmic nerve basically supplies general somatic afferent sensation to the skin and the mucous membranes of the upper face, some parts of the skull and also the orbit. So here I've written the structures of the ophthalmic nerve that the ophthalmic nerve basically supplies. So this ends the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. And in my next video, I will be covering the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve. But if you have any confusion or any question in regards to this video, please do comment down and I will try my best to answer them. As always, please take care of yourselves and I'll see you people next time. Goodbye.